Which boss gives the best remembrance in Elden Ring? Well, to answer this question, we have to start at the beginning with the worst. And when you put all of them together, that award easily has to go to the remembrance of the natural born. For how late this boss fight is and how hard this fight can be, when your rewards are between an Ash award that you most likely won't get and a flail which is rated as probably the worst weapon class in the game, it's pretty safe to say these have to be the worst choices. But to be fair though, the Bastard Star is a very unique and cool looking weapon, with its Ash award Nebula being the highlight of this weapon, though it's still pretty underwhelming. But the same can't be said for the remembrance of the Lich Dragon, which choices can be overwhelming. Since the first time you come across this remembrance reward, you're met with a blind choice. For Sidisax's Lightning Spear and Death Lightning. Two very high level incantations that can make you feel like you missed out if you didn't get the other one. Of the two choices though, my pick would have to go to Death Lightning, but let me know what your choice is down below in the comments. Also, while you're down there, make sure you like this video since it helps me out a ton, and maybe subscribe. And while speaking of helping, certain items in this game can passively buff or boost your character, and usually these items are talismans. Which is why the remembrance of the regal ancestor is actually a great remembrance to have, since when turning this in you'll notice you can get the ancestral spirit horn, which is a talisman that upon killing enemies will grant you FP back in return, and this is kind of an easy choice when the other one is a winged great horn which is really kind of terrible. If it wasn't for the talisman this remembrance would probably have to be the worst, but with how good this talisman can be in some builds, especially when you fight big groups of enemies like this, you can spend your FP for free or or sometimes even for profit. And while the winged horn is a bad weapon, I don't think it's the worst remembrance weapon. That one has to go to the remembrance of the fire giant, since one of the choices is the giant's fire braid, a whip that is completely ordinary and has bad scaling, along with an ash of war that takes way too long to use for bad damage. However, I don't rate it as that bad of a remembrance, since burn o flame the incantation you can get actually isn't that bad, and doesn't require a crazy amount of stats to use like Renala's full moon remembrance. Since to get the full effect of this remembrance, not only do you have to get your intelligence to level 70, but you also need to at least progress into new game plus once. Since you're probably going to want to get both items, which is the staff that boosts full moon sorcery, and the spell you can get which is Renala's full moon. Just to use the staff alone you'll need 60 intelligence, which I guess if you're going to a spell build this makes sense, but if you're not going into a spell build I think you're just better off popping it for the runes, since you'll never get that high a level with intelligence anyways. I want to quickly cross three of these off the list very fast since in my opinion the stars cards remembrance the remembrance of the omen king and the remembrance of the grafted are just all mid choices in my opinion they have their own pros and cons and the weapons from them might not be that bad but when you compare them to the other choices in this list they just really don't shine that hard the remembrance of the dragon lord while it's not all that great gives the coolest options on this list since the Craigblade blade war sends you into a flying cloud of lightning into your enemies and the incantation you can get does this These have to be the two coolest options on this list. One that I feel like is a bit overrated is the Remembrance of the Rock Goddess. Since in my opinion, and a bunch of other people's, the Hand of Melania isn't even a top 3 katana. And the incantation you can get, while being very flashy, just isn't that good. Scarlet Rot isn't really something you can buff, so this incantation can't really get much stronger. Speaking of incantations, the best one you can get has to be from the Remembrance of the Black Blade. The Black Blade incantation not only makes you look like a badass, but you can also dodge attacks, do high damage, and even do tick damage with it. And with all that said, I'm now down to 4 options, which I can easily cross 2 of these off right now. Which is the Remembrance of the Horolu and the Elden Remembrance, which is only a good one if you're going to be farming souls with the boss's weapon. And now it's time for the final 2 options, which I feel like can go either way. The Remembrance of the Bloodlord and the Remembrance of the Blasphemous. The Remembrance of the Bloodlord can give you Moe's Sacred Spear, which is flat out the most broken weapon in the game. The stuff you can do with this weapon is just insanely broken, while the Remembrance of the Blasphemous can give you the Blasphemous Blade. Which 
which might single-handedly be the best weapon in this game, since on top of all it can do so good, you even restore HP upon defeating enemies. And with all that said, I made my decision, which I can go back and forth on, but it's kind of a clear choice. The Remembrance of the Blasphemous has to be the best Remembrance in Elden Ring, just because of how quickly you can get this Remembrance, and how amazing the weapon is you can get for it, which you don't even need to be that high of a level for. If the windup for most Sacred Spear wasn't ridiculously long, and you could fight this boss a lot easier in the game, I would have to give it to the Blood Lord, but since he's a harder boss fight and he's not a gimmick, that alone is going to make this Remembrance harder to get. You need kind of a hefty build to actually put in work with the most Sacred Spear, where with the Blasphemous Blade, you kind of get what you pay for and you don't need anything else. The weapon is just already amazing. Well, I hope I helped you guys have a deeper and better understanding for the Remembrances in Elden Ring, and I could show you which is probably the best choice in this game. So thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched all the way to this point. And if you did, comment orange so I know to thank you. But regardless, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Check out my series on the Elden Ring Randomizer if you want to see how I am off script. Oh my god. God, I forgot about how stupid this shit is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out, bro. Peace.